YouTube, we're back still at the college campus, okay? So if you guys did not watch the last video, make sure you go watch that right now before you even watch the rest of this video, okay? So, like I said, we are on college campus because I'm out of town in this video for the CT Barber Expo, and my boy goes to college at Northeastern University. So it made sense to just go to the college. It's only like an hour away from uh, where the CT Barber Expo was, and it only made sense to just go to the college, cut some of his people up that have been watching my content and actually know who I am and get him a cut. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, let me just film it for the content and it was down. So it only made sense to do that. So right now we got this Asian kid, man. He is about to get the most simple cut ever. Okay. So he showed me a picture and the guy that he showed me a picture of basically has the same exact style that he has right now, just shorter. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is debulk the sides, like the bottom of the sides are like a four length. I'm just going off the picture, okay? And um, the picture that he showed me, when I got done with this cut, it looked exactly the same. Now, I can almost guarantee you guys, me and the barber that did the picture's cut didn't do it the same way. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. <laughs> but at the same time, it's not, you know, if you can get the same ending result that your client is looking for, I don't think they are too they are too worried about how you did it okay so first things first you guys know how i would set my guideline as if i was doing a ball fade what i'm doing right now is just doing that with the four guard clothes and i'm basically like you know i'm kind of like in a scooping motion when i'm doing this because i just want the bottom of the hair on the sides and back to be lower than the rest and we're going to blend it out later on so we just want the bottom of the hair to be shorter than the rest so i guess listen i'm just giving my client what he want okay i don't even know what to call this haircut so basically we do have to do shade work this whole cut um i'm setting my middle guideline right now i just set my middle part and then i'm going to do some shade work he did not want too much off just a little bit shorter basically a trim the main cut is going to be on the size what i did with that four guard and you see how short the sides get later on but we do keep a lot of the bulk because that is what he wanted it or well, that's how he wanted it um in the video and my client was very well satisfied with this cut this cut came out exactly how the video um exactly how he was shown if i could get the video i'll try my best to get it um but i don't really you know know this kid like that so i don't, I don't know if i'll be able to get the video that he showed me either way client was satisfied and i'm gonna just show you guys how i did it So, so, interview, interview. Um, how would you rate uh, Wavy K Cuz? How would you rate Wavy K Cuz previous cuz? Shama, 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 ma. Oh, yeah, no, duh, I, I agree with you. So, um, would, would you uh, tell other people to come to Wavy K Cuz? Shama. You heard it yourself, man. You said it. Shama. <laughs> Do not post that. Look, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm gonna> you <get> canceled. <laughs> We're both gonna get canceled. That's right, what are you even saying? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Actually, who knows? You don't know what you're saying? Isn't that your language? Nah, he's speaking gibberish. I don't know. Imagine we're saying something, we're gonna get canceled, bro. So right now what you guys see me doing is taking vertical sections on the sides of the hair. I'm just trying to match up the bottom area to the top without having to do too much blending work. Um, trying to keep it as simple as possible and still get the look that he's looking for. Try not to overthink it and not to overdo my part, okay? So right now in the back, in the video, the client, or well, the video that my client has showed me, it was basically like a a small like shadow taper but it wasn't really too much of a blend it was just a lot shorter in the back and then rounded out in the back like with the lineup so that's what i did i did the four guard clothes and i just scooped out and went up to about the bottom of his ear and then i just thinning sheared over comb the rest of it until it blended out and it wasn't any harsh guidelines and then after that we're just gonna line it up in that round shape that was in the video
so right now i'm just going to do this little lineup that i told you guys about earlier basically on this shadow taper that he has going on in the back and we're going to line up basically how it was done in the video that he showed me i'm just trying to get it close to the video that he showed me because there is no name for this cut like there's there's no way to describe what's going on right now so i'm just going off the exactly high video and i when he showed me the video i did ask him, i said you want it exactly like this he said yeah so i'm just i'm very good at copying what i see on pictures and videos and just putting it on, on somebody else's head pause but right now we're just going to line up the back the sides and then the back of the sideburn so the sideburn is going to have like a real natural look but not too messy to where it looks like he didn't get a cut at all So we're going to thin out these this taper area like i said before i'm just copying the video the video shows like the taper area the temple area it's just like a dark like a real dark shadow taper it's really just when you look at it if you eyeball the video it just looks like they took a four closed on the taper area and then just blended it up um through there with the shears that's what it basically looks like so that's what i'm going to do and I'm going to try my best. I'm going to take my time until this all blends out and looks good like the video does.
so after basically finishing the cut we're just going to do a little bit more detail work and try to get this cut to look as clean as possible okay so if you guys have been struggling with your cuts lately it's nine times out of ten it's probably just because you haven't done any detail work or if you're a beginner you could probably just have not developed that beginners i meant that um that barber's eye that most barbers have when they get into cutting for a long time so you just gotta develop that you gotta develop that eye so you can see you know what a good haircut looks like and the discrepancies in each cut and what looks good and what looks bad but that comes with time okay you can't rush the process all you can do is all you can do is practice practice and practice and get better and over time you'll be able to develop the skills that you need to do the cuts that you want and right now i'm just standing out the back I'm trying to blend it all in so it's a smooth transition from that little shot that little shadow dark taper in the back all the way up to the top of the hair So now I'm going to use some of this styling, cream, clay, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is. I ain't going to lie to you. Okay, one of the roommates just had it and this all he had. I didn't have no styling powder. I didn't have no matte clay from 245. I didn't have none of that. Okay, so whatever this is, this is what I use. Okay, I don't know if it's a pomade. I don't know. I don't even know if it works on this hair. Okay, but I just put it in this hair. Hopefully, it was going to get it to exactly how the video looked. And it pretty much got it there. I feel like it would have been a little bit better if I did use the 245 matte clay. But this did do the job for what we was working with. Um, being that I could not pack every single thing that I use on a daily, okay? So I just had to use what was available. And it definitely made the overall cut look better. It's a simple, clean cut that a lot of barbers would not show on a video like this. But let me know if I should do, like, actually show these cuts because... A lot of barbers will not show a cut like this. They always show the crazy stuff or the big transformations. Okay, if y'all want to see more simple cuts, like this is something that y'all still need to learn or y'all still need to see, comment that down below and I'll show you guys more of the stuff like this that I do on the daily.
the aftermath. Time to clean it all up now. It's not really doing anything. It's the only vacuum I got. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys hit that like button and subscribe button and comment what you think about the video. It'll make it all worth it. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. All right. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you guys are still here. Just leave. Just leave, okay? What do you guys say, my brother? Huh? What you guys say? Yo, clean up my place, man. Or what? It's a little dirty. Or what? I have to get them. Yo, y'all see the muscles? Come on. Wait, wait, wait. How much? Wait, how much you bent, bro? Y'all see the muscles? How much you bent? Three, three thirty-five. Three, three fifty coming soon. How much you squat? Five, five eighty-five. Six plates, baby. How much you deadlift? Six hundred. Woo! Like, are, you, are you in the thousand pound club yet? Oh, no, well, I passed that. I'm 1500. 1500. You said 600? What? And what? 600, 335, and 585. Five, you squat at 585? Yeah. Get out. Mm -hmm. Yup, yup. So. A year, a year, six months. What about cardio? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, powerlifters don't do cardio. Ah! Yo, anybody that's a powerlifter can agree with me that we do not do cardio. Bro. No, no, no. I'm cutting it off when I'll be like, what about cardio? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>